Hello everyone. In this class, we'll learn about cytoskeleton and molecular motors. All cells have cytoskeleton, a system of fibers that not only maintains the structure of the cell but also permits it to change shape and move. The cytoskeleton is made up of primarily of microtubules, intermediate filaments and microfilaments along with proteins that anchor them and tie them together. In addition, proteins and organelles move along microtubules and microfilaments from one part of the cell to another propelled by molecular motors. Microtubules, they are long hollow structures with 5 nanometer walls surrounding a cavity of 15 nanometers in diameter. They are made up of two globular protein subunits alpha and beta tubulin. A third subunit gamma tubulin is associated with the production of microtubules by centrosomes. The alpha and beta subunits form heterodimers which aggregate to form long tubules made up of stacked rings with each ring usually containing 13 subunits. The tubules interact with guanosine triphosphate that is GTP to facilitate their formation. Along microtubule subunits can be added, although microtubule subunits can be added to either end, microtubules are polar with assembly predominating at plus end and disassembly predominantly at minus end. Both processes occur simultaneously in vitro. The growth of microtubule is temperature sensitive, that is, disassembly is favored under cold conditions as well as under the control of variety of cellular factors that can directly interact with mi microtubules in the cell. Because of the constant assembly and disassembly, microtubules are dynamic portion of cytoskeleton. They provide tracts along which several different molecular motors move, transport vehicles, organelles such as secretory granules and mitochondria from one part of the cell to another. They also form the spindle which moves the chromosomes in mitosis. Cargo can be transported in either direction on microtubules. There are several drugs available that disrupt cellular function through interaction with microtubules. Microtubule assembly is prevented by colchicine and winblastin. The anti-cancer drug paclitaxel that is taxol binds to microtubules and make them so stable that organelles cannot move. Mitotic spindles cannot form and cells die. Intermediate filaments, they are the 8 to 14 nanometers in diameter and are made up of various subunits. Some of these filaments connect the nuclear membrane to the cell membrane. They form a flexible scaffolding for the cell and help it resist external pressure. In their absence, cells rupture more easily and when they are abnormal in humans, blistering of the skin is common. The proteins that make up intermediate filaments are cell type specific and are thus frequently used as cellular markers. For example, vimentin is a major intermediate filament in fibroblast whereas cytokeratin is expressed in epithelial cells. Microfilaments are long solid fibers with 5 to 9 nanometers in diameter that are made up of actin. Although actin is most often associated with muscle contraction, it is present in all types of cells. It is the most abundant protein in the mammalian cells, sometimes accounting for as much as 15% of the total protein in the cell. Its structure is highly conserved, for example 88% of the amino acid sequence in yeast and rabbit, actin are identical. Actin filaments polymerize and depolymerize in vivo and it is not uncommon to find polymerization occurring at one end of the filament while depolymerization occurring at the other end. Filamentous actin refers to intact microfilaments and globular actin refers to unpolymerized protein actin subunits. F actin fibers attach to various parts of the cytoskeletal, cytoskeleton and can interact directly or indirectly with membrane bound proteins. 
they reach to the tips of microvilli of epithelial cells of the intestinal mucosa they are also abundant in the lamellopodia that cells put out when they crawl along surfaces the actin filament interact with integrin receptors and they form focal adhesion complexes which serve as points of traction with the surface over which the cell pulls itself in addition some molecular motors use microfilaments as tracts these diagram shows artistic impressions uh, of major cytoskeletal elements and uh, with their uh diameters and protein subunits we see microfilament they are made up of actin intermediate filament they are made up of several proteins microtubules they are made up of tubulins coming to molecular motors the molecular motors that move proteins organelles and the other cell parts which are collectively known as cargo to all the parts of the cell are 100 to 500 kilodalton atpases they attach to their cargo at one end of the molecule and to microtubules or actin polymers with other end sometimes referred as head they convert the energy of uh, atp into movement along the cytoskeleton taking their cargo with them there are three super families of molecular motors kinesins dynin and myosin It is important to note that there is extensive variation among superfamily members allowing for the specialization of the function for example choice of cargo cytoskeletal filament type and the direction of the movement The conventional form of kinesin is a double headed molecule that tends to move its cargo towards the plus end of the microtubules one head binds to the microtubule and then bends its neck while other head swings forward and binds producing almost continuous movement some kinesins are associated with mitosis and meiosis other kinesins perform different function including in some instances moving cargo to minus end of the microtubule dynins have two heads with their neck pieces embedded in a complex of proteins cytoplasmic dynins have a function like that of conventional kinesin except they tend to move the particles and membranes to the minus end of the microtubules the multiple forms of myosin in the body are divided into 18 classes the heads of myosin molecules bind to actin and produce a motion by bending their neck regions that is myosin 2 or walking along microfilaments one head after the other in these ways the they perform functions as a diverse as contraction of muscle and cell migration these are some of the examples of molecules conventional uh, kinesin which is uh, shown uh, attached to the cargo and so this is the cargo in this case the membrane bound organelle cytoplasmic dynin is shown in isolation myosin 5 and its ability to walk along the microfilament is displayed in two part sequence note that the heads of each of the motor hydrolyze atp so these are the heads of the uh, the kinesin molecules which are going to bind to the cargo and uh, with two heads they will uh, make a, a forward movement thank you